Liam, congratulations. A really important home victory for you, but you didn't do it the easy way, did you? Not at all. No, I mean, it was always going to be one of them type of games, you know, with the situation that the two clubs lie um, and everything what's surrounded by the game. It was always going to be a, a good game for the neutral, to say the least. I thought first half we were excellent. I thought some of the football we played is as good as we've played all season. Uh, and we thoroughly deserve to be 3 0 up. The goals affected us just before half time. Um, but I said previous, in a previous interview, you know, you don't have a divine right to play well for the 90 minutes. Sometimes, you know, the good players in, in Barnet, they've got a good team, it's a good league. So sometimes you've got to adapt and uh, do the ugly side of the game. And I thought, you know, in the main, we did, uh, we did that very well. And as far as the performance in general goes, is it, is it that performance and, and that work rate and that heart and that effort that will actually get you up the table rather than perhaps those moments of brilliance in the first half? I think if you can combine the, the two, you, you'll have half, half a chance. You know, you need the quality, as, as we've shown uh, in the first half, especially uh, with the goals. But, uh, you know, you do need heart and application and you do need to be a, have a good togetherness. And, you know, I thought today you've, you've seen that in abundance. Let's talk about that first half. Seven minutes it took for you to, to take the lead. <coughs> Confidence sky high after that. Yes, you know, we've worked a lot this week on, on what Barnet do well and what they don't do so well. And uh, again, you know, the onus must be on us. We're a home team and, you know, the game's as big as it is. You know, the message were to go out and enjoy the game. You know, everybody can be anxious and make bad decisions, especially, like, like I said previously, to, to where we lie. You know, ask a few questions that, you know, we need to have a fight and we need to have a proper fight. You know, don't bother turning up if you're not going to have a proper fight. But you know, go and enjoy the game. People come and watch, um, watch you play, and give them the money's worth. And I thought today we did that. If Lee Molyneux's first one was a bit skiddy and perhaps a bit scruffy, his second one more than made up for it, didn't it? Oh, tremendous! Yes, um, you know, he scored a couple uh, previously, hasn't he? The last couple of weeks. So, uh, but yeah, he's just a member of the team who worked hard and played well the first half, and then you know got the heads down and and saw the win through the second half. So I'm, I'm you know, overall I'm made up. When you have a player scoring a hat trick, he takes a lot of plaudits, doesn't he? But is it just a case of every single man can be proud of himself today? Yes, definitely, definitely. You know, before the game, we're saying you know, certain people have got a criteria in the team, and you know, you've got a role to play. And in the first half, you know, I think everybody played their role to a T. You know, for the team, not as an individual, for the team. And when you do that, good teams click and you play well you deserve your goals um, and after the third goal I felt like we took our foot off the gas a touch and started to make uh, to make a few bad decisions but then you know we, we got back in the game we could have caught them on the break a couple of times but I, th I think we at the end I think uh, Barnet won't have a problem that we uh, we won the game today. In that second half was it more about the sort of Luke Joyce's Tom Aldridge of this world putting those challenges in long busting runs? Correct correct that, that's why you know the team's so diverse and the mix, you know the mix they've got a job to do in the team and the likes of the lads you've mentioned, plus you know many more, they just deserve the win just as much as you know Lee Molyneux has got the hat trick, you know, and they, they deserve it for different reasons, you know. So I'm made up. You said on Tuesday night after the defeat, it was as bad as it got. What's the mood like in there now? Ah, it's uh, it'll carry on for a while, but we'll still we'll, we'll quickly take stock, and uh, it can either be a good win, or come Tuesday at 10 o'clock, it can be a huge win. So our sole focus now is uh, is on Tuesday. Barnet game's gone, the Fleetwoods game's gone. So our sole fo focus will be to regroup and uh, and go again on Tuesday. How much of a difference have the supporters made to you today? They made quite a racket yeah. for 1,500 people. Massive, massive, and you know we've tried to put messages out there for for, a, for for quite some time, especially in the last couple of weeks. That it's so important. You know we do need the uh, the town, the, the the supporters, and the you know to come and support the team because as you've seen today, they're like a 12th man and they can see you over the line, just like they did today. They played just a, as good a part as anybody, as myself, as, you know, the lad, Lee Molyneux, as the, the, you know, the other 10, 15 lads who got on the pitch. You know, it's fantastic. Have you sent a message today, a message out to your supporters, to people who are doubting you, perhaps? Uh, I'm not, not interested in the people who are doubting me at all. I believe in what I do. I said, um, even after defeats, I think I'll manage at a good level. I believe in what I do. Um, and this this makes you a stronger person, and it kind of builds you for the future. So I'm not here to prove any anybody wrong. I'm here to to make sure Accrington you know win as many games as possible and, and build from strength to strength and on year to year, and we'll do that. And those are the results still not going your way, but if you keep winning, that won't matter, will it? No, not at all. Again, you know we've said it for a few weeks. If you win your own games, you don't have to look at anybody else. Um, you know, so I certainly won't be taking any interest with anything else apart from Wimbledon on Tuesday night.